everybody, welcome to my talk today, how to overcome nerves in a nursing interview. This has been requested by loads of you out there and it's something most nurses experience before and during interviews. Whatever level of nurse you are, this session's for you. If you find it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And if any of you have got other helpful tips that work for you to decrease those ner nerves, do share them in the YouTube comments to support others. So my first key tip is try to work on your positive mindset and don't think about other applicants. And I know this can be difficult, but it's going to bring up negative thoughts. And I know so many nurses who have said to me, this is my ideal role. Then they go and talk to other team members. They're thinking about applying and one person puts them off or they know that a certain person is applying and they start comparing themselves to that particular person. Have they got more experience than me? Are they more likely to get the job than me? Then I might see them a month later and ask, how did the interview go? And they'll say, oh, no, I didn't go. I didn't think I'd get the role. So I thought so and so would get the role. But down the line, you might regret your decision and you're never going to know if you would have got that job or not. Or people say, well, my best friend wants to apply and I don't want to upset them. Again, if they, if they were your best friend, they would encourage you to apply. If you meet the shortlisting criteria, a true friend would not mind you applying, especially in nursing as senior nursing position, positions from band six upwards do not come up as often and there's less of them. If you want that role, apply and leave it in the hands of fate and the shortlisters and the interview think positively. If you were shortlisted, you deserve to be there. And once shortlisted, don't waste time and energy thinking about other candidates. Focus on your preparation. Just think you've done everything possible to achieve a positive out outcome. You can't do any more preparation. What will be will be. And whoever answers those questions best is going to be given the role. It's a competitive process. You might not be offered, but you might be offered and you need to give it your best shot. You will learn from the interview as well, and um, it may take you on a better career journey. And if you don't get the role, there might be a more suitable role out there for you. And I remember it took me three interviews before I was offered my first team leader role, um, the equivalent of a band six, that would be. It was a, I think they called them um, E grades then. Um, but looking back, the team that I eventually ended up with was the most suitable and I thrived in that area. And I learned from each of those three interviews. What I learned was that I needed to plan my answers and prepare more. I wasn't one of these articulate people who could just talk. I had to do a lot more preparation. Remember, being nervous is normal. All the candidates will feel nervous. Everyone gets nervous, whatever level. And there will be more opportunities in the future. So the worst case scenario is you're not offered, but you learn from the interview. Um, and it's a fantastic achievement to be shortlisted. So keep try and keep a positive mindset. Do not think of other applicants. So tip two, the biggest and most impactful thing you can do to reduce your nerves is to prepare for interview questions and practice your answers. And I mean, actually speaking out loud your answers. Research key areas relating to the role or course you're applying for. Review the job description, the employer internet, research the specialism, the service you have applied for. Go on an informal visit if possible and ask some questions about the role, the service. You can ask them about the current challenges in the role or service. So you're researching the types of issues and questions that might come up in interview. They might not ask those questions, but um, that you're expecting, but there's nearly always some scenario based questions that um, will need researching. And if you have prepared as much as you can for questions, you're going to feel less nervous. Prepare answers to those questions. And I don't mean writing out by rote and learning each answer word for word, but start to structure key questions with bullets. Or you might use a mnemonic. I use mnemonics to remember certain pointers to my um, answers to questions. And it means that you'll be more concise when you're answering, answering because you're going to have more thought that's gone into structuring your answer rather than just plucking it out of the air on the day. If you can, try and get somebody to conduct a mock interview and then you can work on some feedback or you might be able to use friends or family to do that. But if you could get somebody that's a professional to do that, that would be fantastic um, and get some feedback um, so you can sort of see what your weakness is, what, what your strength is in interview, what your weaknesses are, and you can work on those. 
Um, so, for example, if you find that there's certain questions that you don't feel confident about, work on those before your interview. If you talk too much in interview, you try and um, use a strategy like mnemonics or, or bullet pointing some answers beforehand. Um, and the person offering you a mock interview cannot be on the interview panel. That's not ethical. Um, but otherwise, it's it's ethical to get anybody if you can um, that's um, appropriate um, who's not on the interview panel to do a mock interview. But they can be very difficult to secure. They're time consuming and nurse um, educators or senior nurses potentially who would do them are very very busy so I would say if you want to book a mock interview you put that booking in as soon as you know the interview date and try and contact them so just remember the more preparation you do the less nervous you're going to feel when asked um, an interview question and to help with your preparation, I have lots of free videos on my YouTube channel. Um, I have videos that um, talk about different types of questions, generic types of questions and how to prepare for different interviews, education, specialist nurse, advanced nurse practitioner, leadership interviews, and then um, some videos that help you prepare for key terms, for example. So it's a very helpful video on quality improvement and quality assurance and risk management in healthcare that includes an overview of all those key terms that because you need to understand you know what an audit is, what's clinical governance if you're asked a question. So they, that's quite they're quite simple videos um, that give it a simple overview. Um, and then if you um, are an educator, you should know about clinical supervision or preceptorship. So um, lots of videos about education, quality improvement, leadership um, that hopefully will help you. And a video on preparing a presentation for a nursing interview, which is quite different to another type of presentation. Um, so lots of tips in there. So I hope those videos help. So tip three, following on from preparing and rehearsing your answers. Increasing your self-awareness and focusing down on key areas specific to you, areas that you're worried about or that you feel are a little bit weaker. Um, when you start practicing your answers and you start structuring some answers, you hopefully will get some feedback from others or you just start to um, talk the answers out yourself and you're, you might think, oh, I'm not really quite sure what I'm saying here. Um, so you might lose your thread. Um, and that's fine. Do all of that work beforehand because it will help you on the day of the interview. So, for example, if you've got a tendency to talk too much or too fast, you could do um, you could be a little too repetitive. Um, then you're you're aiming to work on being a bit more specific, slowing your breath down and being more self-aware on the pace of your talking um, and take a breath at the end of your sentences that will slow you down. And this is where rehearsing some answers to generic interview questions and, um, will help you. Um, if you're worrying about not understanding a question, ask for clarification. Don't worry about um, just answering it straight away. Take time to reflect before you're answering. You don't have to just go straight in and answer. And if you're not quite sure what an interviewer means, um, ask for clarification. I've been on interview panels where somebody's asked two or three questions. They might be, um, and I've got confused myself. And I, you know, and, and you absolutely can say, I'm not quite sure what you mean. Um, could you clarify or could you confirm? If you're worried about being overcome with anxiety, then you can think about breathing exercises to slow your breathing down, to help manage your nerves. Um, or you might have some mindfulness strategies, for example. People should share in the YouTube comments if you've got any of the strategies that you use. But to me, if you practice and practice and rehearse some answers to questions, it will help your nerves because you'll have prepared for certain questions that will come up. And um, in some of the videos on my YouTube channel, I also have got some strategies for questions that come up that you haven't prepared for. So you might use, I don't know, um, an A, B, C, D, E type approach um, where you are systematic for any sort of scenario, acute deterioration type scenario. You might use the nursing process, assessment, planning, implement, evaluation to help structure an answer if you go completely blank in an interview. Um, so there's, there's strategies there that you potentially can use.
And tip four is preparation the day before and the day of interview. So sort of preparing physical things like checking on the time, the location, paperwork or maps. If it's a virtual um, interview, internet connection, checking that out. Um, and being prepared means that you're not rushing around and you're going to be calmer and more composed in your interview. Because if you're more stressed, it's going to make you more nervous. Um, you might want to get your clothes ready, prepare the room, the background for a virtual interview. Um, and um, also making sure that you get a good night's sleep, that you've eaten and you've got a drink there in case your mouth goes dry. And they might sound like little things, but they all add up um, potentially if you're you know, on the day of the interview um, and you just want to try and be as calm as possible. So I hope you found the tips helpful. Do give me a thumbs up on YouTube if you have found it helpful. Do put comments if any of you've had interviews and you've got other tips there to help other people. If you want to ask any questions, uh, put them in YouTube comments or you might prefer to DM me on Twitter or my website. Do check out my other videos. And if you're interested in either of my books, you can see the links in the description on YouTube. Good luck with your interviews if you've got any coming up as well.